This is Best Galaxy Australian Breaking News, Saturday, 10th of June, 2023. Hello everyone, welcome to Best Galaxy Australian Breaking News Quarterfinals. My name is Best Galaxy Australia 2, and also we're at Lynn by the Sea in the Stepford universe. News 1, 9 people were killed in an attack claimed by Al-Shabaab Islamist militants at an upmarket restaurant in the Somali capital, Mogadishu, on Friday night, police have said. Those killed at the popular Pearl restaurant were 6 civilians and 3 soldiers, police said in a statement. Additionally, Abdikadi Abdiaham, the director of Amin Ambulance Service, said his group had carried 20 wounded people from the scene. Security forces rescued 84 civilians, while the fate of the attackers was unclear, the police said. The Somali National News Agency said on Twitter that, security forces have successfully neutralized the al shabaab militants responsible for the terrorist attack on the Pearl Beach Hotel in Lido Beach, Mogadishu. News 2, a Russian man has died after being mauled by a shark off one of Egypt's Red Sea resorts, Egyptian and Russian authorities have said. Egypt's Environment Ministry said the man was killed on Thursday after being attacked by a tiger shark in the waters near the city of Hergada. Authorities closed off a 46-mile stretch of the coastline, announcing it would remain off-limits until Sunday. The ministry later said it had caught the shark and was examining it in a laboratory to try and determine the reasons for the rare attack. The Russian consulate in Hergada identified the man as a Russian citizen but did not give his name. Russia's TASS state news agency said the person killed was a Russian man born in 1999 who lived in Egypt full-time and was not a tourist. News 3, China has reached a secret deal with Cuba to establish an electronic eavesdropping facility on the island roughly 100 miles 160 kilometers from Florida, the Wall Street Journal has reported, but the US and Cuban governments cast strong doubt on the report. Such a spy installation would allow Beijing to gather electronic communications from the southeastern United States, which houses many US military bases, as well as to monitor ship traffic, the newspaper reported. The countries have reached an agreement in principle, the officials said, with China to pay Cuba several billion dollars to allow the eavesdropping station, according to the journal. News 4, Damascus Simba, who sheltered and saved the lives of hundreds of people during the Rwandan genocide, has died. He was 61. In 1994, Gisimba and his brother were running an orphanage founded by their parents in Kigali, the Rwandan capital. On the 6th of April, the plane carrying the Rwandan president, Juvenal Habarimana, was shot down and his death was blamed on Tutsi rebels. Within hours, Kigali was surrounded by roadblocks and the slaughter of Tutsi families by Hutu forces began. The following day, people started arriving at the orphanage seeking shelter. News 5, food aid to Ethiopia has been suspended after the discovery that humanitarian supplies meant for people in need were being stolen. The UN's World Food Programme, WFP, said on Friday that it is halting food assistance while it rolled out enhanced safeguards and controls that will ensure humanitarian food assistance reaches targeted, vulnerable people. It comes a day after the US Agency for International Development, USAID, said it was doing the same. Okay guys, now it's time to a commercial break. We'll be right back. There's a gritty new show this season on Weasel, where the law is the drama, and the drama is the law. What the hell did you go to law school for? I haven't changed at all! I was always over-competitive and shallow! I have a disabled brother I pretend doesn't exist! I only married you because you've got great guns! Law. Catch it today on Weasel before it catches you. Welcome aboard Stepford Connect. We have frequent services to Stepford Victoria, West Coast, and even more frequent services to Upper Stapler. Stepford Connect is known for having the most on-time trains in... No, why are you showing that? No, cut that off, cut that off. There we go. As I was saying, Stepford Connect is known for having the most on-time trains in Stepford. Stepford Connect is also known as the safest operator in Stepford. 
David, why are you doing that again? I will fire you if you do that one more time. As I was saying, Stepford Connect is the safest operator in Stepford. So choose Connect. Love Connect. Stepford Connect. It's probably faster than, oh, wrong script. Stepford Connect. The most reliable and safest operator in Stepford. Germs are running scared. Last year, communists killed 34 hard-working Americans. But germs killed over 25 million people. Your home, much like America, is constantly under attack from germs. And we all know what germs cause dyslexia and leprosy. Thank goodness, there's blocks. Lox sends germs running like refugees. Just add a few tablespoons to your child's bath and put them in the tub. <laughs> Presto! That tingling sensation is germs dying. Now your child has rosy red skin and is 100% germ free. Now that means little Jimmy won't catch a cold or ask difficult questions about reproduction. That's even great for Rover's breath. <laughs> now we're sleeping peacefully, free from germs. Lox is endorsed by the Society for a Cleaner America. It uses a patented formula developed by the Pentagon for use in the field. Now it's available for your home. Some germs hate acid. Some germs hate bleach. Lox kills indiscriminately. Welcome aboard Airlink, your quick link from the terminals to destinations such as Leighton Stepford Road and Barely. Ride our quiet and comfortable Class 755s or our speedy 802s. Ride in style in first class which gives free access to the lounge at Stepford Central and Airport Central. Um, that's still waiting to be built, so uh, yeah. If you're on a budget, ride our standard class complete with USB ports for each passenger and comfortable seats. Airlink, your quick link to the terminals. I love my kids more than anything. Which is why mom keeps me clinically obese, so I won't run away. That's where Kate comes in. My sister's son got to 18 and just ran away. She was brokenhearted. Now me and little Joshua celebrate every day with Cake. He's my number one and he knows it. Now he's not running anywhere. Why not celebrate with Cake every day? Celebrate Cake. cock a doodle do we're a huge corporation cock a doodle do and we can't be stopped All you protesters can go to hell It's time for a clucking bell From the factory farmer to your plate The chicken's life is a sorry state The pump full of chemicals, what the hell? They even make my breast swell <laughs> So they get fat At least we no longer slip in a rat I love chicken with a shitty smell And that's why I love Clucking Bell Clucking Bell! Suffering never tasted so good! cock a doodle do it's time for chicken cock a doodle do it's time for a feast Eat a 90 piece bucket, you can tell He's been to Clucking Bell The chicken is a bird with a tiny brain So we assume he doesn't feel any pain We shrink their heads and we breed them fast Six wings, forty breasts, and then they're gas. Cock-a-doodle-doo, we're psychotic crazies Cock-a-doodle-doo, factory farming's insane We denied it all before our stock price fell Come down to the Clucking Bell. Clucking Bell. If you enjoy it, the chicken didn't die in vain. Lager, the beer that brought the forest down. I drive an exotic imported sports car. I eat exotic foreign food like frankfurters and pizza. But when it comes to numbing my mind, I'm a patriot. I drink the beer that brought the forest down. I'm a lager man. And with the new 80 bottle trunk pack, you've got enough for the evening. Last night, I crapped in my bed and pissed in the closet. Hey, it's happy hour somewhere. Lager brings out the patriot in you. You think you're American, but do you drink American? Lager. The beer that brought the forest down. I like to relax after a hard day at work. And I like to relax hard, get really drunk, 
so drunk you can't tell your sister from your wife. Now that's fun. And now I can do it without gaining pounds, thanks to new Lager Light. Drink even more, gain less. It's the Lager Light promise. At first, the guys were like, I didn't know you drank light beer. Are you gonna start wearing dresses and drinking wine coolers too? Well, then I explained it facilitated alcoholism without the intended weight gain, and they really switched. Now we're all lager men. Lager light, or light in the beer, not in the loafers. <laughs> We're live in three, two, one. Breaking news! We are at war with our rival village, the Testificates. One of them made a hateful comment about my sexy mustache. We're now going live to villager number nine to get a view of the war as it unfolds. Thank you, villager number four. It is a terrible day for villager kind. I am on a landing craft headed towards the south side of the Testificate village. I have villager number 87 here. How do you feel about the events that have happened? I'm a boat. He's a boat. Boo! Me too! I am also a boat. Will you guys please shut up? We are all part of a boat. It's happening! Ah! We're here! Wait for it! I am waiting! Wait for it! Come on! And... Go! 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 But I don't want to go. It's scary. Do you want to be a boat instead? Yeah. Yay. I am now a boat. Yay. Let's go. Tank. Target is locked. Bang! 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 Ow! Damn! What are you doing here? This is not your battle! Hey look, there's a soldier, let's talk to him. Villager! What's it like defending your village? I've never been in a war before. Hi, Mom! Hello, son! Hello! Oh no! Get back! Hello! Nice to meet you. I'm villager number- Boom. What just happened? We're losing the war! Oh no! I better start learning to speak testificate then. Huh. Huh. How does that sound? No! Wait! Villager news. Huh. We're back guys, let's move on the new six. New six, Colombia's government and its largest remaining guerrilla group have agreed to a six-month ceasefire at talks in Cuba in the latest attempt to resolve a conflict dating back to the 1960s. The government and the National Liberation Army, or ELN, announced the accord at a ceremony in Havana on Friday attended by Colombia's president, Gustavo Petro, top guerrilla commander Antonio Garcia and Cuban officials. The ceasefire takes effect in phases, goes fully into effect in August and then lasts for six months. This effort to look for peace is a beacon of hope that conflicts can be resolved politically and diplomatically, top rebel negotiator Pablo Beltran said at the ceremony. New 7, the Yes campaign is gearing up for a fresh advertising blitz and will roll out a series of nationwide public events in a bid to reinvigorate support for the indigenous voice and shift attention away from the parliamentary arena. The Yes 23 campaign will hold large gatherings at the start of NADOC week, with leaders believing support will rise quickly once the voice debate shifts beyond Canberra. The campaign's looming acceleration is welcomed by longtime voice supporters and senior Labor government figures, as some privately raise concerns about slipping poll numbers and the No campaign's growing volume. News 8, Australia's biggest superannuation funds have either frozen or are reviewing future work contracts with PricewaterhouseCoopers Australia, as the fallout from the tax leak scandal proves costly for the embattled firm. 
Four of the country's biggest funds, Australian Super, Australian Retirement Trust, HESTA and Aware Super, say they will not enter into new contracts with PwC after the professional services firm used confidential information obtained through its work for the government for commercial gain. Another significant fund, REST, is reviewing its arrangements with PwC, while CBUS and Host Plus both said they were monitoring the issue. The funds are among the largest financial managers in Australia, by size and member numbers, collectively overseeing well over $1 trillion of retirement savings. News 9, counter-attacking Ukrainian forces have advanced up to 1,400 metres at a number of sections of the front line near the eastern city of Bakhmut in the past day, a military spokesperson said on Saturday. The advance is the latest in... OK guys, now it's time for a commercial break. We'll be right back. Tito na tayo sa Kung saan lahat ay okay sa Lahat dito ay super cool Lahat mga maganda dito sa Germs are running scared. Last year, communists killed 34 hard-working Americans. But germs killed over 25 million people. Your home, much like America, is constantly under attack from germs. And we all know what germs cause dyslexia and leprosy. Thank goodness, there's blocks. Blocks sends germs running like refugees. Just add a few tablespoons to your child's bath and put them in the tub. <laughs> Presto! That tingling sensation is germs dying! Now your child has rosy red skin and is 100% germ-free! Now that means little Jimmy won't catch a cold or ask difficult questions about reproduction. That's even great for Rover's breath! <laughs> now we're sleeping peacefully, free from germs! Blox is endorsed by the Society for a Cleaner America. It uses a patented formula developed by the Pentagon for use in the field. Now it's available for your home. Some germs hate acid. Some germs hate bleach. Blox kills indiscriminately. San Andreas just can't get enough of the Glory Hole theme park. Glory Hole, we're strangers become friends. Glory Hole, you don't need to know me. It's the place for magic and adventure. We all like speaking rodents to entertain and educate our kids. And now with Jerry Gerable, the kids have someone they can really relate to. Kids, come and play. I've got puppies to show you. Yeah, you try speaking rodents. Go on, kids, have fun. I know it's safe. Jerry's wearing a latex bodysuit. See you later, Mom! We're off to have fun with strangers! Glory Hole! Worth it. Ride the log flume! Live the adventure of the flaming screen machine! Glory Hole Theme Park! Glory Hole! Open every day 10 p.m. Come live the mystery! Lager, the beer that brought the forest down.
I drive an exotic imported sports car. I eat exotic foreign food like frankfurters and pizza. But when it comes to numbing my mind, I'm a patriot. I drink the beer that brought the forest down. I'm a lager man. And with the new 80 bottle trunk pack, you've got enough for the evening. Last night, I crapped in my bed and pissed in the closet. Hey, it's happy hour somewhere. Lager brings out the patriot in you. You think you're American, but do you drink American? Lager, the beer that brought the forest down. I like to relax after a hard day at work. And I like to relax hard, get really drunk. So drunk, you can't tell your sister from your wife. Now that's fun. And now I can do it without gaining pounds, thanks to new Lager Life. Drink even more, gain less. It's the Lager Light promise. At first, the guys were like, I didn't know you drank light beer. Are you gonna start wearing dresses and drinking wine coolers too? Well, then I explained it facilitated alcoholism without the attendant weight gain, and they really switched. Now we're all lager men. Lager light. We're light in the beer, not in the loafers. I love my kids more than anything. Which is why mom keeps me clinically obese, so I won't run away. That's where Kate comes in. My sister's son got to 18 and just ran away. She was brokenhearted. Now me and little Joshua celebrate every day with cake. He's my number one and he knows it. Now he's not running anywhere. Why not celebrate with cake every day? Celebrate cake. We're back guys, let's move on News, News 9. 9. Wildfires in Quebec, Canada, continue to rage, following a spring that was drier and warmer than normal, creating perfect conditions for wildfires to develop. As of the 7th of June, at least 150 fires remained active across the province, with more than 400 across the country according to the Canadian Interagency Forest Fire Centre officials warned this could be the country's worst wildfire season to date, with at least 9.4 m acres of land destroyed so far. Plumes of smoke from the fires have been moving southwards across the U.S. east coast, delaying thousands of flights. The U.S. National Weather Service also issued air quality alerts for many states, with air quality index levels above 400 A level of 300 is considered hazardous in some states. A fairly static weather pattern this weekend will mean further plumes of smoke moving towards eastern parts of the U.S. In Japan, southern and western parts experienced significant rainfall this week thanks to the remnants of Typhoon Mawar moving north from the Philippine Sea having previously battered Guam, the northern Philippines and Taiwan. Mawar weakened to a tropical storm on approach to Japan, but collided with an active rain front moving across the country on the 3rd of June. The injection of warm and moist air intensified the existing rainfall, bringing a spectacular start to the 2023 rainy season. According to the Japan Meteorological Agency, 23 locations in eight prefectures had record totals of 24-hour rainfall, with close to 500 mm falling in the city of Toyohashi on the south coast of the central Chibu region. The rainfall was deemed a once-in-100-years-or-more event for the Wakayama, Aichi, Shizuoka, and Ibaraki prefectures. Flooding and landslide risks prompted evacuation warnings in some areas, with power outages and the temporary suspension of some Shinkansen bullet train services among the consequences of the deluge. Northern Turkey also experienced very wet weather this week. After heavy rainfall across much of Turkey on 30 May, which triggered localized flooding and caused damage in the capital of Ankara, thunderstorms developed over parts of the north between the 3rd and the 6th of June. Some of these storms brought particularly heavy downpours, with 24-hour totals approaching 150 mm in Iank and Tekeli, and further flooding. There were also reports of damage from lightning, large hail, and dozens of mudslides in the province of Ordu. Okay guys, that's all the news, I will see you Sunday.